after one o'clock on the dot. I like starting things on time. Thank you, everybody, for coming out on this most beautiful day. And I'd like to welcome you to High Park in Ward 13. I am absolutely honored as the city councillor. My name is Sarah Doucette. And I'm proud to be the city councillor of this amazing ward. I do live here. I have been in this park thousands of times. Maybe a bit more times this recent two months than I have before. But anyway, now we'll get going. So, so thank you very much for coming out. Um, I would like to start by introducing Councillor Norm Kelly. He is our Chair of Parks and Environment. And he is here today to represent the Mayor and the City. Councillor Kelly. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. It is a beautiful day for an event of uh, this importance. Uh, it's my pleasure to bring greetings from the Mayor Rob Ford and to extend to everyone here uh, this afternoon his best wishes for a very successful uh, renaissance rebirthing of uh, Jamie Bell uh, Playground. One of the attractions of uh, political life is that you get a public opportunity to say thank you to people who make a contribution to the quality of life uh, in the uh, city of Toronto and the first thank you goes to the uh, local community. This is a regional park that has been adopted by the local community and functions in certain respects uh, as a local park and it has that nice warm feeling uh, as a result. So thank you uh, members of the community for uh, your involvement in Hyde Park. Um, it's rare that we get things done with the sponsors, and so I'd like to thank uh, the following sponsors of this uh, enterprise, Canadian Tire, Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse, the Scrot Foundation, and the place where I park my money, uh, TD Bank. <laughs> you're do TD, you're doing a good job. I'd also like to thank uh, for their expertise and leadership on this project, HGTV, Mike Holmes, who uh, is taller than I expected. <laughs> uh, Mike Holmes and his team, uh, as well as Janet uh, Rosenberg. Thank you all for your uh, contribution. The work, as you can see, will start right away, uh, and it should be completed by uh, early July, just in time for summer enjoyment. And you can all look forward to uh, uh, um, a rendering of this on Holmes makes it right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for your time and your attention, and best wishes for a successful playground in the many years that lie ahead. Thank you, Councillor Kelly. It was two months ago yesterday that we had the fire, St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. I think that's going to be etched into my mind now. Sure, blame it on the ice. <laughs> Sorry. It was March break for the students as well. The community was shocked. We were angry. But in the spirit of Jamie Bell, we were determined we will rebuild. And I kept saying we'll do it by summer. Jamie Bell Playground is one of a kind. It's a family meeting place. In the spring of 1998, children working alongside parents, teachers, volunteers, they used their imagination, their creativity. They designed and built this amazing dream playground. Celebrating Hyde Park's natural environment, social history and local architecture. In 1999, the playground expanded to an amazing metal slide, which is no longer there. Sorry, it became a liability, but it was amazing. I slid down it with my children many a time. In 2003, the playground was named the Jamie Bell Adventure Playground after Jamie, who first raised this idea of a community build playground in High Park. Jamie was a leader, a very dedicated member of the community. He had that personal style of raising issues and involving people in everything he did. So when Jamie died suddenly in 2002, the community wanted to honor this father of three for everything he had done for us and wanted his legacy to live on. 
I am hoping that Jamie's family is here today. If not, I do want to thank Ruth, Adam, Aaron, and Sybil for all their support over the last two months. This hasn't been easy for them, and they are going to be here, obviously, for the community build, and will probably be leading the charge. So as I mentioned, this fire, it was a tragedy for our community, but the outpour support from individuals and businesses has been phenomenal. But I know... Bell Park. Nantire announced a $50,000 pledge uh, to the Hyde Park to, to rebuild this, this wonderful structure. When I heard about this, personally, myself and Tim Talon decided that we wanted to help as well and donated $5,000 each from our stores. So on behalf of Canadian Tire, we'd like to present this check for $60,000 from Canadian Tire. So as I mentioned with us today, uh, Martin Parr, who's the assistant store manager. And if you'd like to introduce anyone else with you, please come on up. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, uh, today, uh, Joanne uh, AJ, who's an assistant store manager from the Etobicoke store. Uh, like Councillor Dusset said, I'm with the London store. Uh, we're thrilled, honored to be here. Uh, Lowe's is always looking for opportunities to help in the community, and this is a perfect example of our spirit as a company, and uh, we can't wait to, to get in there and get our hands dirty, and uh, it's a fabulous, fabulous uh, effort. Um, my personal connection here is that uh, although now I live in London, uh, my children were born here in Toronto, two of them anyways. They're here with me today, and we used to come here all the time. Uh, we still have family in this community, so it's very close to our hearts. And I'm uh, very glad that I could be here today. So uh, on behalf of Joanne, AJ, and myself, and uh, most importantly, our CEO, Alan Huggins, and the entire Lowe's family, I have a check here to present to the City of Toronto. Jamie Bell first started. Were there any ideas that surprised you? Well, there was some, no, no, no ideas that surprised me. Um, but it was the, the best information I got was from the kids. And I'm not just saying that. We had some smart kids there. Uh, they were saying, we'd like a bigger castle. We'd like some more slides. I don't mind the chips on the ground. And a couple of the other kids said that it burns my knees when I fall down. So we want to we want to keep some chips. We want to possibly introduce some uh, recycled uh, rubber where they, if, the, if there's areas they can fall that is going to protect them and it's very environmentally friendly. 
exactly. And if it's not, I'm not going to use it. Uh, they wanted water, but we're not going to do that. Uh, the waterfall's a great, a great idea and a substitute to that. I, I don't want to have anything to do with possibilities of kids drowning. That's not going to happen here. Um, more than anything, scenery. You know, looking better. Possibly some more trees in here. Cleaning up the outside. And um, I think the number one thing they said was they want to be involved with this. They want to be here. And I said, the very last day, you can be here. They were disappointed they couldn't help throughout the whole process, but I can't have them here due to safety reasons. I am the general contractor. I'm going to make sure this is done right for everyone and safely. But on the last day, I want everyone, everyone around here to come in and pitch in, paint, play, and give their last little, you know, not only uh, two thumbs of approval, but more than anything, their, their little bit of love at the end. Their touch, final touch, we'll call it. Thank you. Thank you. Keep smiling.